Hey, it's Dust. Something many people do when the time comes to celebrate the coming of the new year is make resolutions. I, along with many other people, find it hard to keep up resolutions. It's been found in studies by US News and World Report, according to Inc.com, 80% of resolutions fail. It doesn't help that a lot of people are going to make unachievable goals and goals that can't be measured. Something people don't like is being forced to do something, and it doesn't make it any better even when people try to make themselves do something. I've often found that New Year's resolutions are often things that people don't want to do, so they take the coming of the New Year as an excuse to try and change themselves. Although everyone, no matter how young or old, no matter what you said you'd do, change a lot. If you ever stopped talking to someone for a year and then talked to them again, you'll know exactly what I mean. The change is often out of their control, too. Recent events, political fights, and even new information arising can change the way they act and think. Something else that really shakes the resolution business is the idea that you should always be getting better. You should always strive to be nicer to others than yourself, sure, but that's all you need. Quit worrying about things like starting new hobbies because you need to be interesting, or losing weight because of the looks people give you. Start new hobbies because in the moment they seem interesting, lose weight because you want to be healthier. Start going on a walk every morning, not because you want to see more fit, but do it to take in the beauty of nature and to feel good about yourself. Many people today, especially younger people, have low self-esteem and mental health issues like depression and anxiety. Trying to force themselves to do more than the average when they're already doing less than what society thinks is the average is damaging. So, here are five things you can add to your resolutions list, or start them anytime you want. And of course, these will be rather hard for many of you, and I give you permission now. If you mess up on these resolutions, just try again. Try again and again until you do it right. Number one, do the things you've always wanted others to do. I know I've thought to myself before, I want a friend that calls me affectionate titles like pretty and cute and sweet. And I do that to myself now, and I call my friends that stuff when I know they're comfortable with it. I've always wanted someone I've just met to take charge in a conversation and lead the way to friendship, which is now what I try to do. It makes everything easier when you just let yourself do the things you've wanted others to do. Number two, worry less about what others think of you. I know this one is one of the hardest ones on the list. It can feel like all eyes are on you. It can feel like the person across the restaurant is whispering about you. But take a moment and glance, just a second longer. They're looking at their phone, they're pointing to a menu and telling their friend what they're gonna order. You're often projecting your own insecurities and making your mind think that someone else is enforcing them when it's just that little voice in your head. Number three, sleep at least a little bit every night. This one may seem weird to some, but I know friends that can sleep less than an hour or two every night and act like they can healthily function like that. At least they're sleeping, but I propose the idea to you. Try to sleep when you can. Try to get that 10 to 7 hours, depending on your age. You deserve it. You deserve a break. Number four, give yourself proper breaks. I know you're on a roll with working, and I know it seems like it's helping in the long run, but please, break up your work. I know I struggle with this too. I often work on something as much as I possibly can in one sitting, and it's unhealthy. At the very least, take 5 to 15 minute breaks about every hour, which is the best, according to socialtriggers.com. If you get anxious when you take a break because you're not being productive, then do something productive. Get up from your chair, get a glass of water, clean up your workspace from what you don't need anymore. Find something that'll let you take a break. Last but not least, number five, practice self-acceptance slash self-neutrality. Sometimes it's hard to say you're great, that you're pretty, that you're helpful. If you can, that's great, but if you can't, try this. Sit out loud or in your head. I'm a human. I believe humans deserve the right to live. I think that humans don't need to be amazing to deserve to live. I am a human. And you are. You're a human. You can make art. You can express your feelings in any way you can, any way you want. You make someone's day with a few words, a simple nice shirt, or I love how you did your hair. You're helpful and amazing and enough. It's okay that sometimes you feel less than that and that you can't help but think that. When you can, just try changing that I can't to an I am. And you are. You just are.